good. Tuesday morning, everybody, October 4th, 2016. And welcome back into uh, the studio of Talking Fitchburg. I'm Jeremy Crosby, flying solo for the moment. Preston's out uh, at BB9 covering that this morning. He should be back in a little bit later today. But don't worry, still got Andrew. Andrew Bamley. Hi there. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! <laughs> And uh, we finally coordinated on the black shirts. Yeah, we finally we finally hit it. I didn't see what Preston was wearing this morning, so maybe maybe we'll be a trifecta today. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. We'll see. Well, we're on the uh, anniversary week this week, and uh, yes. with the one year, tomorrow is the one year official. Tomorrow is the the day, big day. So uh, yeah, coming up uh, in digest today, we're going to talk about uh, and show you some of our past. Uh, Oh boy. So, <laughs> hey boy. Some of them are good. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for that because uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> I laugh at all good these t- that I pull together. <laughs> they are just hilarious. So They're uh, good times. Looking forward to, to sharing that. Uh, got some great headlines for you. Hey, I do want to welcome in everybody. It's our first headline. Uh, we'll go back to it. But the World Dairy Expo starts today. So anybody who's uh, in town and may have a chance to see this, mm-hmm. welcome. Welcome to the Dairyland. Woo. <laughs> Dairyland. Dairyland. Wow. Woo. Busy. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be busy over there. I think that's part of the traffic this morning. It is going to be busy morning. over there. Whew, traffic was horrendous this morning. So, uh, yeah. Watch out for that. But uh, if you have a chance to go down there, World Dairy Expo goes through Sunday. We'll talk about that in our headlines. Digest we already talked about. And our guest segment, the man, Tony King, stops by. And we got a little surprise video for him, too. We do. So we definitely do. Looking forward to uh, showing him that from the anniversary stuff that we do have. And, of course, we wrap up with PB and J. But first, let's kick it into some headlines. Let's. And we start with the World Dairy Expo uh, kicking off today. Or take a look at the schedule here Why I read you some fun facts. Uh, this year is the 50th celebration of the World Dairy Expo, if you can believe that. Uh, and, again, it runs through October 4th through the 8th. Uh, all uh, Expo... Uh, invites all attendees and exhibitors to join them for their special honor of the past five decades. They'll have special celebrations going on all throughout this great event, and you're looking at the schedule now, um, and it's uh, it's well attended. Uh, they're uh, they'll recognize. Um, or, uh, this is what it says here. Recognized as the meeting place for a global dairy industry, the World Dairy Expo attracts more than seventy thousand to 70,000 attendees from over 90 countries to Madison, Wisconsin each year. The annual event is 4th through the 8th, and the theme is uh, Celebrate 50 to commemorate the golden anniversary. So you can visit uh, visit the World Dairy Expo website for more information. They've got a little bit of everything there. There's a there. lot going on. Just yeah. looking through the schedule, there's a lot, lot of, of showings, a lot of seminars, a lot of good things. Take out the family, go see the cows and the pigs and the goats and the bunnies and ducks and everything yeah basically it started as the uh a small world food expo in 1967 wow all the way to today 50 years to this huge and now it's massive <laughs> it is uh do you ever i don't have you been down to it ever oh yeah i've been to it the a few times yeah. Oh, yeah now they have this huge uh big tent that they set up in the parking lot like mm-hmm. it's like its own structure mm-hmm. it's crazy it's crazy all well, we it's had, crazy. was it last year or two years ago, we had a showing down here at the O'Brien Farm, and you had international folk here from all over the world just coming to see their specific dairy farm. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So Pretty neat. Check it out uh, if you have a chance to get down there, and it's right, it's so close to Fitchburg here. So, uh, yeah, it's right again, here. Welcome, uh, welcome everybody in from uh, around the world, and uh, again, hopefully you have a chance to go down there and check out uh, this pretty cool event. So, right in the backyard here. All right, uh, Third quarter utility bills may see an increase uh, in the third quarter here. Third quarter utility bills were mailed out last week. They are due October 25th, 2016. Most bills have an increase this quarter. The increase is due to the following. This is the billing that includes the summer water use. Historically, summer water usage is higher due to outside watering. And this is the first billing that reflects the new water rates that the PSC approved uh, in May. The new rates went in effect uh, 6-8 of 2016. The water rate increase is higher than we have seen in recent years. This is due to the continued growth of our city future development that, uh, that have and will continue to impact our water infrastructure. Prior to this rate increase, the last time we had a full rate increase was in 2008. 
which uh, smaller wow. increase in 2010 and 2012. Mm -hmm. So don't be silver don't be lining sticker shocked that. if you open that up. Yeah, I guess the silver lining is it hasn't gone up <laughs> major. for that long. Yeah, 2008. That's crazy. So yeah. if you got any questions, certainly uh, you can give a call into the utilities. Uh, uh, information is on the website, uh, or again. Uh, you know, you can check out uh, Public Works and then Utilities. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you Got go. Got it. All right. Fitchburg Police Department uh, starting to hold listening sessions for uh, body-worn cameras. So uh, we brought you this yesterday, but I want to remind you that uh, this uh, happens tonight right here in the Fitchburg room, right where we are right now. Uh, the purpose of this listening session uh, will be twofold. Chief Blotter and other department members will update the community on our body warden camera program, a, uh, seek input on the program, and answer questions about the program. Additionally, after the segment on body warden cameras, we will hold a general listening session in which the community members can share input and ask questions about general police-related issues here in Fitchburg. So stop on by. Tonight's one again uh, kicks off at uh, 6.30 right here. Uh, in the community center, specifically in the Fitchburg Room. Your next opportunity will be Wednesday, October 12th at the Fairways Clubhouse, 2301 Traceway Drive, and Thursday, October 20th at Fitchburg Fire Station number 25415 King James Way. All sessions begin at 6.30 p.m. Again, we'll cover this one and bring you some uh, info for it right here on the show tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Also happening tonight, the mayor uh, is holding another listening session. Uh, come share your hopes and concerns with your neighborhood in the city. Uh, tonight from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, at the Tower Hill Park, 5610 uh, Cheryl Drive uh, in Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Check it out. I don't know why I said Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Where else would it be, Andrew? I blew it. I don't know. I blew it. Stop on by again. He'll be out there 6.30 to 8 again at Tower, uh, Tower, Tower Hill Park. Made it. All right. This is kind of a fun event coming up. Uh, Dane County Sheriff's Department uh, is holding a spaghetti dinner for Shop with a Cop. So they're raising money for Shop with a Cop. Uh, so this is uh, Saturday at uh, from 4 to 7 p.m. at the VFW Post, 1318-133 East Lakeside Street in Madison, Wisconsin. And it says here proceeds will go to Shop with a Cop program. Adult tickets are $10. Kids uh, 5 through 12 eat for 5 bucks, And 5 and under, it's free. Dinner will include spaghetti, meatball, salad, garlic bread, milk, water, and coffee. And again, goes to a great event, uh, mm -hmm. and I think some of our officers have participated in this uh, mm -hmm. for the last few years, uh, the shop with a cop that happens during the holiday season. So uh, stop on by this weekend, again, at the VFW Post 1318. Sounds like a fun event. Who doesn't like spaghetti? Does. Everyone loves spaghetti. <laughs> Everybody likes spaghetti. <laughs> All right, I did this this morning. Put down your phone when you're in construction zones. Uh, just another a quick reminder on this that if you see orange cones, put down the phone. Starting uh, over this past weekend, uh, October 1st to be exact, uh, handheld devices are banned in Wisconsin work zones. So uh, if you uh, happen to go into a work zone now and you're, uh, you know, have your phone up or whatever, holding your phone up to your ear, uh, and uh, you know that's diverting tension away from you. You could be look at fines for up to forty dollars on the first offense, a hundred dollars on the second offense, or any other offense after that. So, gets expensive in a hurry. It really does. And uh, just uh, kind of the data to back up this: from 2011 to 2015, 47 people have been killed, and 3,592 were injured, in a total of 9,664 crashes in Wisconsin work zones. That, that's just work zones. That's work zone that's crashes. Huge. So, those are big numbers. This is a this is a great step to uh, again keep uh, keep construction workers and road mm -hmm. workers out there uh, safe, safe when they keep everyone safe. Yeah. So, keep that in mind. Uh, again, that's up and running, and I've already seen police sitting in the work zones mm -hmm. watching out for watching. you. So, be careful out there. All right. Last but not least for this morning, and actually, I w I should have saved this for tomorrow. Because I dug up the video. Yeah. Uh, we'll play it on tomorrow's show. Well, maybe I'll just recap the story tomorrow. Yeah. But I hit a deer last yes, year. Yes, you did. And, and it was right during when I read this story, too. So 
Here we go. Wisconsin <laughs> DOT. <laughs> uh, the Wisconsin DOT, Wisconsin State Patrol, are offering the following device or advice to prevent deer crashes. Be on the lookout for deer. Eliminate distractions while driving and slow down, especially in early morning and evening hours, which are the most active times for deer. I hit mine in the evening hours. Yes, you did. Uh, always buckle up. There are fewer and less severe injuries in vehicles versus deer crashes when the driver and passengers were wearing seatbelts. If you see a deer on the side of the road, like myself, slow down, blow your horn with a long last bla- or long <laughs> blast to frighten them away. That's what I didn't do. You saw didn't, it. You didn't honk the horn? I didn't. Didn't oh, have no. enough time. Yeah. And then when you see the deer, look for another one. <laughs> this is always a common problem. Yes. Deer seldom run alone. If you see a deer looming in your headlights, don't expect it to move away. Uh, headlights can uh, confuse a deer, causing it to freeze. <laughs> Brake firmly when you notice a deer or are near your path. Don't swerve suddenly because you may lose control of your vehicle. And if you hit a deer, get your vehicle off the road as far as possible and call law enforcement agency. Walking on the highway is dangerous, so stay in your vehicle if you can. Do not try and move the animal if it's still alive. Deer injured deer. Uh, the injured deer could hurt you. you got to be careful. Yeah, Sheriff's Department uh, or even our city officials here will take care of that if you call them. Just call them. Big thing is just call. If you hit a deer. Just, just call. Yeah. We'll so help you out. It's better off that way. Yep. Uh, and for insurance purposes, it's really better off that you <laughs> <Yep>. call. Let's, <laughs> let me tell you. Yep. So, which I did call. So, well, there you go. It's good. All right. We need to take a quick break. Coming up next, we're going to open up the old digest and take a look back at some of our, uh, I don't know if you want to call them the best moments, <laughs> but uh, they're moments uh, from they're our moments. one year. We're celebrating one year of Talking Fitchburg this week. Next, right here. <laughs> 